Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Cruelcon Keith here, and today we're looking at the Super Console X. Let's take a look. So guys, um, sorry for the delaying. I'm back to making videos. As I said in my little quick update video, I've just had so much on with music and different projects and videos take a lot of time to produce. But anyway, I've had a lot of interesting things come into my collection over the last few weeks. Uh, I got an Oculus Quest 2, which is amazing. I'm really enjoying that. And I got a new gaming PC and I'm using the Oculus Quest 2 on the gaming PC playing the likes of Half-Life Alex, which is blowing my mind. But anyway, with regards to the retro stuff, I've seen this on YouTube. A few YouTubers covered it. And I got myself a Pandora 12 or 13X, I can't remember what it's called, which cost me about 300 quid. I've set it up like an arcade in my kitchen and I'm really happy with it. Um, it's a really nice place to just chill out and play some arcade games. This pretty much looks like it's the same kind of thing and this cost me 50 quid delivered. And it's probably better, which kind of disturbs me. Um, the reviews I've seen have all been good. So I'm gonna, let's open it up and take a look. So again, 50 quid. Uh, it's not meant to be an unboxing, like I'm, I'm not really showing you the box being unboxed, so to speak. It comes with two wireless controllers. Which look like PlayStation 3 controllers. Much lighter. And they take two batteries, two AAA batteries by the looks of things. And... little dongles maybe not mix them up oh I've just mixed them up I don't know which goes or which ah well we'll figure it out and the unit itself let's see what we get get a HDMI cable we get I guess uh, oh USB 4 three three-way port Actual power supply, not just a U. Oh, it's a proper power supply. Interesting. And the unit itself kind of has a SNES, Super Nintendo vibe about it. It's like a fake button and a fake port. Uh, it's got a LAN cable, an Ethernet um, port, AV point, HDMI out, DC in, little power button. And uh, this came with, I'm not sure what size card, but it's full of games. So um, yeah, let's plug it in and see what it's like. I don't have an Elgato or a capture device, so I'm just gonna set the camera up looking at my TV. Hopefully that will be okay. Okay, let's turn this on and see what we get. NU-ELEC. So it's the same thing as in the RG 351P. That's a bit okay. Cool. Okay, and this is a very uh, configurable uh, emulate, emulation thing. I don't really know how to use it. A lot of people do. It's meant to be very user user friendly if you're bothered. Okay, so straight away it's come loaded with games. Super Nintendo does over 1,200 games. Super Graphics has five metrics. Wow, I'm kind of interested to see what that's like. Virtual Buy. Okay, Wonder Swan. Color Spectrum. How will that work? So there's 33,300, oh my god, people that look, that slag off my accent will love that. 33,326, huh? You can set your favourites. Amstrad CPC, 2600, 5200, 7800. Man, I'm loving this. 76 Lynx games. Okay, let's just see if they work. There's only three Dreamcast. Um, arcade. Game and watch Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance. What is the Game Boy Advance? Okay, I'm gonna start 
where I, okay. 80 Nintendo 64 games, we'll definitely check that. More arcade stuff there. There's a lot of systems. I don't know what that means. Open Beats of Rage. Turbo Graphics as well. Raspberry Pi ports. 46 PlayStation games. Ah. Okay, always start with Super Nintendo. Okay, why not? Let's start with Aladdin. Oh, let's see how we get on. Now I know this is fully configurable, you can change so much on this, but uh, hopefully it will just work out of the box because, yeah, I'm liking that. That's nice! I love the display! It's taking up the whole widescreen, but proper 4 tree in the middle. The controller is fine. Yeah, yeah, go away. Start, please. There's no lag on the controller. Pretty responsive. Oh yeah. Oops, missed all the wheels. Yep, get up there. Oh, oh. Jump. Jump. Yeah, it's perfect. Oh, I'm gonna get wiped by it. Oh, hey, oh, oh, hey. Dead already. This looks great. Absolutely great. Okay, I am. How do I get out of here? Let's see. Yeah? Yeah? Press again to quit. Excellent. This is so easy to use as well. Out of the box. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm guessing these things always run Super Nintendo, Mega Drive stuff really, really well. I'm going to look at the Terry games. I love the links. The Batman game mode box is great. Yeah, take a quick look. See how this fares. Very low res, that's to be expected. I'm sure there's options to make that either smaller or... I can't remember what the entire link's resolution was, it's tiny, but... Have some of this, oh get what? There you go! Kicking the balls. Yeah, okay. I don't know if that's laggy or what the story is. Oh, it went kind of wonkified. What else can we check out? God, I'm gonna spend the rest of my life messing about with this. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Commodore 64, I sure, let's see, the thing about like um, Commodore 64s, Amigas, and um, Atari STs, you kind of need the keyboard. Dreamcast. Sonic Adventure 2, let's take a look. This was a bit tricky on the RG351 key, I'm probably messing with that console, but I love that console, it's so handy. Let's see. We always know there's an, it's not going to be perfect if the helicopter door disappears. Oh my god, that's just so cool. I'm loving everything. Boom. Come on. Uh, the triggers on the controllers are not analog triggers, they're just buttons. But. Can't say I would have expected any better. That's good. Start. File select. Story select. That's Sigma a Alpha thing. 2 heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Oh my god, the helicopter door is intact! I've got a good feeling about this. No, it's not. No, there's a problem. There's the Calm down, Pete. Bollocks! Okay, come on. This is not bad! 
This is awesome! Whoa! This is so cool! You know what I gotta do? I gotta mute the uh, audio on it because... Copyrights and stuff like that. Oh, boom. Oh my god, it's awesome! The analog stick works perfectly! It's so subtle! No, it's not. It's digitally. Oh my god. I, I'm gonna try a lot of Dreamcast games on this. That is so good. <laughs> this is better than the Pandora box that I paid 300 quid for. What the hell? Wow. Okay, my mind is totally blown about the Dreamcast. Put it that way. Okay, and then... What else will we try? PlayStation. No, Nintendo 64. Boom. I'm not going to go through what games are on this because it's totally, I'm guessing it'll be random for whatever. Did you buy it? It's not guaranteed that you'll get it. The same in other games. I'm sure it's quite illegal what they're doing. Clearly, it's illegal what they're doing. Um. Will we? Yes, let's take a look at Doom 64! How's that performing? I can't remember exactly what it's like. New game. Yes, please! the shoulder buttons immediately strafe me left and right and then I'll be like I don't need to configure anything to play this oh no it shoots oh my god it strafes me left and right This is fantastic! This is so playable. Hello. Uh, what? Eh? 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 Is that a button? I can't remember. What's that a button? Uh, oh. Hmm. I'm not sure how I meant to open that. They're all over the place. Okay, I think it's fine. Um, need to play around it a bit more. Let's go check out the PlayStation. God, it's so easy to just get around everything as well. I'd like to try some of the arcade stuff too, but... Man, let's try Nintendo DS. It's kind of going to be, no, I need to figure out the screens. I wonder if we quickly do that on the fly. No, okay, we go to PSP. This was crap on the RG 351P. What was... German. You know, it has English subtitles, it's playable. Die Dunkelheit trübt. Die Dunkelheit. Start. Start. I did.
seems all right. What? Wow, this little console is amazing. Doodles. Okay, that's all I'm playing. I think it's good. I think it's good. That's all I'm playing on the PSP. I'm not finished checking stuff out. PlayStation. 46 games! I mean, I can put any game I want on here. I don't know why I keep getting excited by the amount of games. Um, what we do? Anything there tickling your fancies? More oh, dives on the PlayStation, I love that game. Medal of Honor Underground, this was a disaster on the RG 351P. Boom. Well, it probably wasn't, I just like, I don't know how to configure the controls. I googled how to configure the controls. It made my head burn and I lost interest. I love the screen that was on, it, on this. This is so good. Start, come on. Bonsoir. Oh, it'd be great if both analog sticks just worked first time. I know they're not going to, but it would be amazing if they did. Okay, using the left analog stick first. Okay, that's what I expected. And the right analog does nothing. Strafe left and right, okay. Is that still play? I mean, that's what it was like on the PlayStation. Have some of that, Mr. Cap. better than the RG351. It's smooth, it plays just like a PlayStation. And you know I could probably figure, configure these controls better. Cool, happy with that. Let's check something else. Mother of God, this is one of the greatest buys I've made in a long time. Torture 2 x let's see if Star Wars is on this. Oh. Oh, let's check it out. Seems perfect. Attention. Wipe out enemy fire. Perfect! 
It's perfect! Oh my god, it's, it's just super perfect. Okay, I love it. Okay, I'm done. Oh look, let's have a little outside of you. Ooh. Wow, okay, I'm done. This console is amazing. Amazing, amazing. I'm so happy with my purchase. And that was the Super Console X. Pretty cool. I'm happy with it. Gonna use it and have fun with it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye. If you like that video and if you like what I do on the channel, please leave a like and please subscribe because it helps very much. Thank you.